Okay, we are reporting live from the Children's Hospital. Yes. Yes. Hello. You are... <laughs> it's the final Bald and the Beautiful. The final episode, and you are getting an IV, so you could die. Yeah, this, well, it's, this, it's the semi-final, I guess, because we well, don't know if we will pick it up in the future, but we are going right. on a break. This is the series finale. Season finale. Season finale. The season finale. Season finale, Mary. Season finale. Yeah. And you know what? People are going to be mad because they don't get enough opportunities to hear us talk. I know. Especially it's to each really other. It's really tough. It's really tough. I know. It's like, I mean, yeah. I'd, um, I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to tell them. I don't know which direction to point them in. Is it to the other Netflix show or the Netflix show or is it the web series or is it the books or is it the... Or, yeah, the books, the uh, films, the documentary films. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, by the way, is I, it the uh, social way, media? Mm. By the way, if we ever come back, we've got to change the name to okay. who would play her. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. I was totally. working on a secret project with Michelle, <laughs> uh-huh. and we were backstage, and I was like, I don't know if you know this, but me and Katya are obsessed with who would, who would play, play her. her. Who would play her? And she, she's yeah. like, what? I'm like, who would play her? Like, she didn't even really know. Oh, but really? She's like, oh, that thing that Rue says all the time? I'm like, yes. Yes, yeah. I'm like, but we're not even talking about people anymore. No. We're like, oh, I had a good sandwich the other day. Oh, who would play her? Like, we don't, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even people. <laughs> <laughs> I got to show you a few of my new favorite things. Let me show you what I got. From Do it. My, I'm in Austin right now because I'm playing Austin City Limits tonight. Yeah. You got a drip and in the arm. I got a, I got an IV drip in the arm. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, just oh, Gypsy you're... Rose Blanchard like you've never seen. Oh, you're, 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 um, you're, you're using a microphone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. I got to do a song. Um, <laughs> you know when people say catch this drip? That's what they mean. It's an IV drip. <laughs> You know, they should, have, they should, if I open an IV drip business, I call it catch this drip. Catch and we this would drip. also, during like the 45 minutes of takes for the fluid, mm-hmm. um, you do, a, you do a number, you do like a, you a do song. A number. Yeah. You do a number. Um, I would, um, I would say I would, I would be Naomi Campbell from girl six saying dick drip. Now turn over and let me sp- uh, spank you. Yeah. Dick drip. Sounds like a perfectly good way to start the day. Um, that's Normally Jennifer when Lewis. I have, yeah. Normally, when I'm getting fluids in a hotel room, it doesn't take 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's just say that. How <laughs> gross. I got to show you what I got from our managers uh, for, for for a present to me, a good luck gift. Oh, my God. I'm scared. <laughs> Everybody I got gets a temperature gun. Everybody gets tempt. Everybody I got a gets temperature temp- gun. I, wow. I, I can't wait. I shot. I shot Brandon. I shot him in the head and the crotch. Two degree difference, by the way. Yeah. And then I shot the candle. Four hundred degrees. <laughs> so it's supposed to be ninety degrees and humid on stage tonight, where I'm playing. You better shoot that air, bitch. You ninety shoot that degrees air. and humid, which sadly isn't even the warmest environment I've been in in drag in the last few weeks. Yeah, that's not it. That's not I, it. That's not it. it. That's there are talks it. of me continuing this podcast by myself, and I swear mm-hmm. to God, it's going to be called "Who Would Play Her," and it's me going to places and talking about the air conditioning and critiquing the air H-vac conditioning. Back of yeah, <laughs> it's literally just uh, <laughs> heating and cooling uh, <laughs> criticism <laughs> pod. <laughs> it's just the heating and cooling Yelp. <laughs> yeah. And this, it's a scale of ten. Ten being Mister Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Batman and Robin, and one yeah. being the Devil in Hell yeah. or Texas. Period. Oh my god period i better not get pregnant while i'm here (laughs) (laughs) why the baby not going to survive um if you get pregnant here you i I don't know what you do if you don't if you want that's right that's right that's right best thing i could hope forward to best thing i could look forward to one of those like fake clinics where it's like a a really religious person who takes like a fake x-ray yeah and then puts like a smile like a face app filter Like a smile app filter on the fetus. <laughs> yeah, I I get hired to do the Pixar um, the uh, animations for all of them. <laughs> Your new hustle. Yeah, it's just, the, and I'll know something is up because you'll be in scrubs smoking indoors. Smoking like, is this a health clinic? And I'm just photoshopping two three year old toddlers into these ultrasounds. Oh. <laughs> just like full head of hair, clothes. Oh yeah, <laughs> clothes. ten years old. Onesies. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, clothing. 
doing activities like playing GameCube, jump yeah. roping. You see, she is already very healthy and she wants to live. She needs to live. Oh my God. Look at, she, she's already talking and then there's a fake audio of you going like, Mama, Mama yeah. please don't abort me. Don't put yeah. a stick in. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, speaking of which, ho, um, I walked out of the movie theater the other night. Why? Why? I hated the movie. My, I went to see... Um, I went to see this movie called Titan, a French movie. It's this like tour de force, palm door winner, you know, gritty, wild, crazy. I, spoilers. Is it another Princess Diana movie? Oh, no, no, no. But to that point, I have another, don't let me forget. I have another thing about that. Um, This woman, I saw her, first of all, I saw her take a knitting needle that she used as a hairpin and try to give herself an abortion. And there was motor oil. Mama, there was in blood, there was motor oil, motor oil, mama do motor party. Oil. There was motor oil. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, not only that, there was other what? things, other things transpired that I could not, I could not handle. Was it poop? <laughs> no, no, she was, well, I, the, the good part was she got fucked by a car. She got, she went in the car and the car fucked her. She was what? in the, in the, in the car with the, um, the, so it uh, was a princess Diana movie. <laughs> So bad, so bad. Oh um, God! <laughs> there's, but there's a princess. Di- long story short, there was so much violence. I didn't. I it, it just did bum me out. I left halfway. I left. No, not halfway. Half an hour in, I left. I said, no, ma'am, not it. Ma- well, Can't mama, it. I'm about six weeks behind you in the movie. You know, when movies come out, usually I'm I'm six weeks behind you to see yeah. something. Yeah. Can we discuss malignant? malignant. <laughs> Girl, when girl, she, I swear malign- to God, that movie, <laughs> that movie, big time spoilers here, Malignant. If you do not have, if you have not seen Malignant, you need to turn this off right now. But I swear to God, the studio, you know how that elevator pitch was? What if this bitch kills a whole bunch of people backwards? <laughs> <laughs> that that was the, the elevator pitch. The only There's thing no backwards way. was the storytelling and the wig application. Oh, the wig. That was not a human hair wig. unit. The synthetic wig of it all. Do you know when we were um, ages ago when Andrew and I went back to the uh, we were the theater watching the previews? The minute that preview came up and that girl, that woman was on um, on the screen, Andrew and I on both looked at each other. We didn't even look at each other. We both said out loud, "Wig." <laughs> yeah. Once you wear wigs, you see them in movies constantly, and yes. it's shocking. It's we sh- talked about this before. Yeah. It's shocking how blatant they are mm-hmm. given people's research. Wait a minute. What was that? What? See, I got to get my temp gun to shoot that lighter. I want to know the temperature of that butane. Oh, it's going to be fiery hot, blue hot. It's always good when your friend in the program has a butane lighter on hand, right? That's fine. <laughs> listen, That's totally you fine. know what? Listen, let me, let me tell you. Listen, let me tell I was lighting the pilot you. light no. in my stove. <laughs> I don't have enough time for matches. <laughs> Oh shit! Now where am I gonna put the thingy? God By the way, right, top tier level comes gay. Lighter comes off. Top tier level gay is to have a butane torch to light your scented candles. Yes, because I'm not futzing around with these long matches, bitch. I'm not futzing Who around. Is? I'm not futzing around. We gotta go back to malignant. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I fell asleep watching it, and I fell asleep before it really heated up, right? And David finished watching oh, it without me. And the next God. day he goes, "You fell asleep right before it got crazy." And I said, "What?" And he goes, "Gabriel." And I said, what? He said, the creature, yeah. spoiler alert. Yeah. The back, she has been killing everyone. Yeah. And it's been her twin. Yeah. Her, her. That's in her brain. Yeah. With the tiny arms. What about with, with the, the, what about the it, flashback very, footage two with the tiny weeks, arms? Very Kato, very Kato from Total Recall. I, yeah. I mean, it was so outrageous. The tiny, tiny little arms. Yes, yes. She had a little um, furry backpack on, essentially. She had a yes. little like child's backpack on, except it was an evil demon. Coming out of her motherfucking head. This is this is unpopular. I would have not been so obsessed with removing the attached twin. I would have been like, let's do like a double act. Like, and he's psychic. Are you kidding me? I'd be mm. like, we're going to buy scratchers, honey. Get in. Get in the Prius. <laughs> get, get, get your arms and legs in the window, baby. <laughs> and he's got two extra little arms to scratch at the same time. We could mm. be winning double millions. Double lotto. You put a couple quarters in the security feet? numbers. You got you really, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. There is a group of there's a there's a set of twins who are adjoined, conjoined, mm-hmm. um, ultimate sacrifice. Um 
and they are teachers in Minnesota. Do they get two salaries? Is it one salary? They must get two. They got to get two. I don't know. Good question. Have them on the pod. If they give the kid a detention, is it two Who would play them? (laughs) Who would play them? Gabriel. (laughs) But But wait, the the, the Matrix level martial arts backwards. That's what I'm talking about. That that um that whole movie is is nothing without the prison fight scene. The prison fight scene with Zoe uh, Bell from Kill Bill. What? She played the hillbilly with the, the 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 mullet. Yes. No way. Yes, once you clock her face, she's in everything. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, she is in everything. Anytime I mean, there's like a g- intense fight scene where the person has to actually deliver lines, it's always her cuz yeah, she's funny. Yeah, cuz she's a good actor too. Um, um that that prison scene was the craziest thing I've My jaw was on the floor. It was Just, cr- I yeah. couldn't believe what I was watching. I couldn't believe it either. It was so wild. It was so wild and I did, I really I did ugh, I don't know. The it was it was ma. It was it was conjoined to ma. It was very it's her ma. Tether. Big ma this is energy. Ma's tether. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If <laughs> you opened up the ba- if you parted the hair on the back of Ma's head, it would be this movie under there with little <laughs> arms. <laughs> That's what it is. It was very like when she's like um when she you know when she's like listen she's on the corner of the side that that meme of her like mm-hmm, that's what course. would happen yeah if you parted the hair <laughs> my god that movie was crazy um so crazy. I haven't talked to you in so long we tried to film this episode a couple times but I was in the UK and my airport wife my my hotel Wi Fi was not. No. Not legit. You did not have that Ritz Wi-Fi. Not have that. No, Ritz they give Wi-Fi. you that. They give you that like dial-up for free, and mm. if you want to basically buy it by the hour. Crazy, 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 crazy talk. I thought so. Last night at five a.m., bitch. I um, I thought a raccoon got in my house. <laughs> Why did you think that? Because it's I, there was a crash and a whole bunch of shit flying, and I was like. I was like, oh my God. I was like bolted awake and I was like, oh my God, there's a raccoon in here. Just went back to bed. <gasps> but I woke up this morning. It is what it is. It is what it is. I was like, it is what it is. I can't, the, the door's closed. It can't get in here. Also, what are you going to do? Chase it out like it's well, already in there? Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what if I, if I go, if it's in the kitchen, I got to go to the broom. The broom's in the kitchen. What am I going to do? Should you say with my legs? These long legs? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Legs I'm, getting scratched up. This is a similar. This is a similar story that maybe I've never told you. Um, if there is some one story left, I haven't mm-hmm. told you yet. Um, which is probably the reason we're taking a break on the pod because yes. there's just no new there's information. There's just nothing else new. In college, I had this uh, roommate named Liz, and she was a very hipster, very hipster, like blonde mullet. And for some uh-huh. reason, I, she kind of she kind of had this kind of voice. My name is Liz. I'm just kind of like, <laughs> is she always uh, like, suffering. <laughs> it was like. Um, um, I remember her talking about like learning art words from her and being like, it's conceptual. Like she kind of talked <laughs> like that. Um, I believe she's a kinder or she's a kindergarten teacher now, I think. I've anyway, never heard this story. Uh, we had an apartment, um, you know, it's a 850 a month uh, split three ways. We each paid 250 or whatever. Yeah. Crazy. But it was like 400 square feet, three mm-hmm. people in it. Couldn't believe we shared it. Oh my God. And the, one of the windows did not have a screen. And one day we came home um, from school or something and there was a squirrel sitting on the couch. We walked in and saw it sitting on the couch and Liz yelled, Oh hell no. And it ran out. <laughs> oh hell no to a squirrel. Oh hell no. You get out. Get out of here. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you this. On the way to London, I found out that to travel internationally, you need a COVID test. Yeah. And yeah. nobody, someone lied to her several times yeah. and no one told no her one told about you. it. No so one told her. I'm at the gate and they go, do you have your COVID test? And I go, no. And they go, you can run to Tom Bradley terminal and you can, you if you can, can make it. You can run to Tom if you Bradley. You can go over there and if you can make it there and back with your test, you can fly. You said, I'm a marathon runner, bitch. Hold my water in all my bags. Oh, I ran. Did you put on I got there unwinded, spirits unscathed. And-, <laughs> and I arrived at it and said, I'd like my test, please. <laughs> So then it was positive, paid a few thousand to cover it up, flew anyway. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you don't have COVID, but you have so much herpes, you cannot come to another country. <laughs> yeah. You have <laughs> FBA. Yeah. And the project I was on, the constant the constant nose swabbing pretty much every day. Oh, the my nose swabbing God. the throat. They, throw, they swabbed the throat and nose. And the first day that I did my nose and they go, oh, you have to do your throat too same swab they said that's why we told you to do your mouth first <gasps> so then i'm rooting my i'm oh rooting myself my with booger stick god 
the, the in the dignity, way. the yeah. indignity. And I, I'm, I, I haven't reached a point where they told me I can't talk about the project I did. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's just say it was very, very high budget. Yes. 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 Very yes. cool. And yes. my reading material while I was there. The Diva Roulette. <laughs> yeah, so give me give me the scholastic um I read give me the Diva the, Rules. Get, let's get the review. The Roger Ebert, not the Roger Ebert, the New York Times book review. It's a quick read. That's not a read. It's a quick it's a nice quick read. Okay. I read the first half on the plane and then like interspersed through it. I do like a chapter a day. Mm-hmm. Um I want to say this about Michelle Vassange. <clears throat> she is the moment mm-hmm. and i don't think drag race did a very good job introducing who she is to the audience yeah i to agree. call her i agree Rue's friend a drag queen's best no, friend no Rue's best friend is so minimizing yeah to her actual like career yeah and i didn't even know that until i read this book like michelle the reason she's an authority on drag she's from like the new york 80s ball scene yeah like yeah. she was out there with the paris is burning folks doing that shit inventing this language we all use now you know what i mean and so to call her like oh she has one track on the bodyguard and she's rue's friend is like so yeah they need to get those nails they need to get into those nails the nails the nails and the the face the voice the body obviously yeah um did you know that she was in this band seduction the first interracial girl group by the way Mm. yeah Uh, they had you know hit songs they traveled, they made tens of thousands of dollars a night, and because of their contract, they only each got a thousand a week. And Michelle, after two years of touring with Seduction, giant venues, pop star, Dio, yeah, yeah. left, basically broke and in debt. It's so she crazy. She went from being in Seduction, touring giant pop venues, months later, she's flat broke, and she starts emceeing at a, at a strip club. Wow. But it was kind of before the internet, so it's not like you could, you know, mm. now if you were like a fallen from fame oh, celebrity. Oh, yeah, they tear you, you a lot, tear you apart. Yeah. But she's like, I literally was a pop star a few months ago, and now I'm introducing like an oil wrestling contest at a strip club. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But she went there to strip because she was like, I'm going to make money. These girls are making money. And mm. she was, they were like, it's time to get on the pole. And she went, I can't do it. Really? I can't. Do, she couldn't do it. She's like, I can't do it. She's like, these girls get up there and put on like a serious like strip kind of persona. She's like, I'm not serious enough to like get up there and do this. Oh, wow. Also, I think she had her boobs done, but she didn't have like the Michelle boobs yet. Okay. The one, well, the previous Michelle boobs. Yeah. But because she worked on the microphone in the strip club, that's where she learned to like be funny, which helped her. Helped her that's how she got into radio. Oh, wow. Well, which that got makes, her into yeah. TV. Yeah. She's great. I mean, she you can hear it. She's great on the, she's great on the radio. She's a great talker. Great but I just like not to be critical. I just think that the audiences of Drag Race, if I don't know Michelle's like whole background until this book, right. I know the audience doesn't know. Right. Yeah. They certainly don't know about that. Um. That um. That blonde hair, the bikini, and those four uh fourteen inch nails. Fourteen inch square plastic 14 nails. Fourteen inch. You're like, what is on? What does she hold? Does she have a uh, baseball mitts on? Nope. She's got. And I gotta. Yeah. I gotta tell you this from the book too. Um, her look kind of like. Not to the nails, but the rest of the look, the blonde hair. The mm-hmm. um, She performed at the Love Ball, which was like, I believe, uh, a, a, like an HIV fundraiser. And it was a big deal because there was a celebrity in the audience. Madonna came to see the Love Ball and Michelle's number was her in like a studded bra with a blonde ponytail voguing. Four months later, Vogue comes out. So wild. Using dancers from Michelle's rival, like uh, their like rival Vogue house. So crazy. And then when Seduction got big... She heard through the grapevine, they sat down for a meeting and they were like, oh, we have a message from Madonna's people. She sees what you're doing basically and she doesn't like it. She doesn't like that you bit off her. Ah! Yes. And then Michelle told me a few months ago, um, Madonna was on like an Instagram live and she was on Instagram live with someone Michelle knows. And so Michelle was commenting. Yeah. And Madonna says like, who is this Michelle person? Yeah. She's getting too much airtime or whatever. She has to stop asking questions. Yeah. (gasps) Yeah. Yeah, very crazy? jealous, very jealous, very jealous. <laughs> you are just like a rat jumping you're around, around looking for, for, a for a food. food. <laughs> very jealous. You want to call me obese? <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't know what you're talking about. Hi there. Let's talk about healthy eating. Green Chef. 
they have a meal plan for every healthy lifestyle. Whether it's keto, paleo, plant-powered diets, or even if you just want to have delicious but balanced dishes. Green Chef's expert chefs curate every recipe and with over 30 meal choices every week and the flexibility to switch plans, you'll never have to sacrifice taste for nutrition. You can enjoy restaurant quality dishes in the comfort of your own home, just like I did the other night with my delicious and wonderful Mediterranean chicken dinner, which featured artichokes and roasted red peppers, pepita, pesto, and Brussels sprouts, which I gobbled down and was so happy about it. It made me happy. Go to greenchef.com slash bald125 and use code bald125 to get $125 off, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald125 and use code bald125 to get $125 off, including free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. If the balance in your checking account is running low, it can be absolutely crippling to get an overdraft fee from your bank. Overdraft fees have gotten sky high. As of 2019, banks took more than $11 billion in overdraft fees. That's where Chime comes in. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card that saves its members more than $10 billion in overdraft fees with SpotMe fee-free overdraft. Eligible members can overdraft up to $200 on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no fees. Now you deserve to have financial peace of mind. Join the millions of Americans already loving Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started today at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA, members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. Chime member overdraft fee savings based on eligible members' use of Spot Me fee $33 average overdraft fee. Overdraft fee data based on bank rate checking account survey in CRL June 2020 overdraft fees report. I'm going to go see Madam X tonight, bitch. Oh, the screening? Yeah. 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 You going to a social event voluntarily? I know. I Is know. Is this an ISIS video? Well, I'm so I'm scarred. I'm scarred from the um the fact that I was not invited to the We're Here premiere in <gasps> every You weren't single, invited? I don't think so. And I um Do you read your emails? No. But <laughs> Okay, so let's no, just stop I right went here. I went through them. There was nothing of the sort in there. And um You were not invited? Every Bob called single... me personally to invite me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Would you have gone? Yes, absolutely. fucking lutely I would have gone. I I it see it looked like the best party when Lady Bunny was there. It looked like the best party in the world. I actually for the first time in my entire motherfucking life had that FOMO business. <laughs> But it was after the fact because it was way after it happened. I think if you're sitting on the couch smoking gut out watching, you know, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Did you watch the Squid Game? I sure fucking did. I gobbled that shit up. Did you live? I lived. I I sobbed. I retched. I almost puked. Almost puked. Mm -hmm. We're doing it on Netflix. We are? Yeah. No, we're not. We are. I was the reason I almost didn't watch it because I figured we'd have to end up talking about it later. I know. And I told him, I was like, hey, listen, it's not that funny if like one of us has seen it or one of, or, you know what I mean? But I was like, but they just, they're, they're dying. They're dying. They're dying for it. But if we it. both seen they're it. They're begging which, for which, it. <laughs> we've both seen it. Michelle told me to watch it. So I watched it. It's, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I love the violence <laughs> and the storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. I love all of it. Yeah. You know, I was reading this interview about it and they were saying that in American cinema, violence is sort of like pointless. Mm-hmm. And in something like that program, they use the violence to like make the audience to really push the theme further. You know oh my god! Like the, it was it was disturbing. It was absolutely very disturbing. disturbing. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. How would you do in the Squid Game? The, oh the god! Game, the games in general. Well, um, I mean, red. I think you could do red, red light, green yeah, light. Red light, green light. I could do that. Um, you just have to not get. Uh, you have to get not pushed over by a free, someone freaking out. Um, yes. And then, um, I'd be good. I'd be good in the, um, I mean, if you have the umbrella and the, in the, the little, the sugar carving thing, good luck to you, mama. Good, good luck. luck to you, Mary. Good luck to you. That's yeah. like having good a, luck to you, you know, trying to do drag and having a bum knee. Pins in your <laughs> yeah. ankles. <laughs> bones sticking out. <laughs> bones sticking out. Oh my God, Brandon just said bones sticking out. Um, um, wait a minute. I don't, girl, did you cry from the marble episode? I almost, I, I almost puked. Who, who would play her? You're I crying. I almost hear puked. It? I almost puked. It was, um, uh, no, no, it was, it, it's not, it's not, there's no sound. It was this. 
you'll just have to paint the picture for them. I did cry a little bit. Broken blood vessels, snots, just horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I would lost it when she kept saying we could do this together and she said, Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh yeah. I also thought like I would have done what they did. Let's just throw a marble. Let's not spend this whole time playing a long game too no. much. And sang woo, but that motherfucker, the uh Girl, I would have did what he did. Are you kidding me? <sighs> and he felt bad about it. I wouldn't have felt bad about it. Well, that man, that old man was not going to win. No, so no, no. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about him. Or, I'm not talking about the, I'm talking about the guy who did the whole fake out. Oh, Meet me back love here. That. <laughs> I'd also do that. <laughs> <laughs> but also that guy shouldn't have fell for it. Come on. I'm Grow surprised. Up. I'm Yeah, I guess so. I'm surprised. Can't nobody just tell me it's raining either. <laughs> I'm surprised. Nobody just snatched the other's marbles. Mary. Well, they said it had to be a game, like a real game. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I would have done what those girls did. Just throw one marble and just, just like, yeah, just hit peace. it. Peace, yeah, peace and blessings. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you think that old man was pretending the whole time? Yeah, to be feeble then. Yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't. He was actually like feeble. I, I know, but I, that's why I was like, was he pretending the whole time? Because when he clocked him and said, "Wow, you would really lie to your friend to win," I know, so gaggy. Say, bitch, or what? Die? Yeah. You want me to die for you? I met you two days ago. Yeah, but they had a every six going. hours they give me a half pickle. Yeah, like you're lucky I didn't eat you when you died. I know. Oh man, I won't just kill my friends. I'll eat them in that scenario. <laughs> I'll be covered in blood, being like, "This is delicious." You would be ruthless in that Squid Game, Mary. Um, I would be that man throwing people on those panes of glass. <laughs> I know. I know. I that know. was spooky. That was yeah. spooky. Yeah, but this one, see, I got a better one. So I had, I had a, a revelation, a, a vision. Um, that it's a squib game, June squib. And, um, <laughs> she, and it's just the me and you. And it's, we go, we go to a weekend retreat for a team building exercise. Cause we're not getting along, but we got to work together. And so, um, just the two of us go and it's a com- company outing and it's squib game. June squib is hosting. And she says, um, the first game is mung diving. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I people gotta what let mung diving you know. is. I gotta let read read, you, read the definition from the internet. No, I gotta let you know. <laughs> I'll I tell gotta, you what. Mung I need you to blow because my phone. I need you to. I'll I need tell you, you what to know. Is. I need you to know about it. You the need poor to IB know. technician is sitting here and she's oh, gonna have no. to hear about it. Oh my god! I'm so tell her I'm so sorry. I'm so um, sorry. She says she's sorry that you're gonna have to hear this, but it's because it's bad. rotten. You gotta read this. Read number two first, so it's really getting juicy. No, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> this is from this is from um, Urban Dictionary, which is a lot like Merriam-Webster. <laughs> um, yeah, I sent it to you. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is horrible. Just so you know. Okay, uh, mung diving. By the way, any listeners? I didn't write this. I didn't even send this to myself. This person I'm talking to sent this to me. When two people take a corpse into the <laughs> desert and leave it there for two or three days, so it's really getting juicy. The two people come back. Person places their mouth on the asshole of the corpse, while person B jumps on the stomach of the body. This causes the entire intestinal tract to shoot into person A's mouth. Now, in your medical experience, have you ever heard of that? What'd you say? What'd you say? She heard it 30 seconds ago from Brandon. So she has experience in the field. Okay. Well, listen, it gets really, it's about getting that dead gas in your mouth. Also, why do you think leaving a body there will make it somehow more no, wet? It does. It gets because it, you know, it it breaks down more. It gets real juicy. Oh, you think like it gets more juicy on the outer? No, no, no. It gets juicy on the inner. Yeah. Oh, she's saying like the breakdown of the body is yeah. extra fluid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. It's a little like so. It's slow, really slow getting cooking. juicy. It's the, the crock pot. It's the, it's a the crock cemetery pot. crock pot. <laughs> Which is your original drag name, Cemetery Crockpot. <laughs> yeah. So it's well, really horrible. getting juicy. So it's really um, getting juicy. So what Squib about, Game. What I remember, I remember a similar situation called Quibby Game. 
Oh, right, right. Also right. a situation where no one wins. Hello. Can I just say this about Quibi? I pitched a show there once, and they didn't play their cards to their chest very well. I was like, yeah, I have this show. What do you think? And they were like, we don't even know if we're going to be open in four months. <gasps> they said it during the pitch meeting. Is that all right, Quibi? All right, Miss Honesty down at the Quibi. Wow, shit. Horrible yeah. name, by the way. Horrible name. Um, I like I like Squid Game. It it made me think of um, I don't know. It's not. It, I mean, I mean, I understand that it's Korea in the show, but mm-hmm. it's not. If you're an American person, I don't know how you could watch that show and not see the parallels in yeah. these games where there's inherent privileges and yeah. you know, it all comes to play. Could you imagine getting one of the first numbers in that? glass pain game you just gotta go you just gotta you go just, that's you just what gotta I'm go they you were gotta all scared go. mary it's i would have done what that guy did and just run you just this gotta go yeah you just gotta go you just bam, also, bam, what, bam, if bam, you, bam, bam. what if you run really fast and then even if it breaks like you're, no. you're on your you're moving no because you can't you're, you're you can't you're not galloping you're like you're jumping two foot jumps so also to be honest um in my american ignorance i've probably never heard a korean language that long Mm -hmm. like i've heard kim talk on the phone to like her mom Mm -hmm. and like that's probably the only korean i've ever heard in my life Mm -hmm. but um what what a wacky language well it's very different it's very different and uh, netflix had the nerve to start it dubbed it's like what are we doing here dubbed oh no we're not watching dubbed no nobody's watching dubs if anybody's out there watching dubbed you need to get it right don't you watch English television with the subtitles on? Always, I got subtitles on everything. But I watch. You gotta um, know. I gotta know. I gotta listen. Uh, no, I gotta look. I gotta look. <laughs> I gotta um, uh-huh. <laughs> because I don't. Also, I um, I watch French stuff with French subtitles, and um, mm-hmm. and it's uh, and often the subtitles are not right. They're you should not, write a letter. I have. I have written. That's a letter. why you're leaving the pod. You're gonna be yeah. watching shows and correcting subtitles in your spare time. <laughs> yeah. Hi, it's Trixie. There is so much more to nutrition than calories. Your diet plays a huge role in your microbiome, which in turn impacts your mental and physical well-being. And I hate to say it, being a woman who's no longer 20, I'm 32 years old, I literally feel how I ate all the time. The way I eat dramatically impacts the way I feel and the way I operate and the quality of my day. It really does. The science is clear. A healthy gut microbiome with good bacteria that helps our bodies process food is key to a healthy lifestyle. But now we're learning the connection between your gut microbiome health and type 2 diabetes. Pendulum glucose control is one of the first and only medical probiotics that's designed to manage A1C and blood glucose levels through the health of your microbiome. Over time, people with type 2 diabetes lose the gut bacteria that helps digest fiber and manage our blood glucose levels. For those with type 2 diabetes, diet and exercise alone are often not enough to manage it. The best approach emphasizes diet, exercise, and a healthy gut microbiome. This connection has been widely recognized by leading scientists studying diabetes, including the American Diabetes Association, Mayo Clinic, John Hopkins, and others, maybe even Bob Hoskins. We don't know. For those with type 2 diabetes, it can feel like an uphill battle to keep glucose and A1C levels where you need them. I'm Native American. Um, Native American people are like, I think, three times as likely to have diabetes. A lot of people in my family have diabetes, and I know how that pendulum can swing, okay? Pendulum glucose control helps fill the gaps by providing the first and only probiotic designed to manage blood glucose and A1C levels. With Pendulum, you can feel in control of your levels, not the other way around. They've isolated one keystone strain, Acromancia, that is now available to purchase. Pendulum is the only place to find this highly sought after strain. Take control of your glucose levels today. Try Pendulum Glucose Control for 90 days. If you're not satisfied with your levels, you'll get your money back. Visit PendulumLife.com to find out more and use promo code BALD for 20% off your first bottle of membership. That's P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M-L-I-F-E.com. Promo code BALD. Did you know half of Americans are on a high deductible health insurance plan on the hook for thousands of deductibles, co-pays, and sky-high premiums? For many people in the U.S. concerned about the cost of health insurance, there are no good options because all of this system we call the health insurance system is broken. It is broken. It's like being stuck with an outdated cable plan and not even knowing that streaming services like Netflix exist. Introducing crowd health. It is not health insurance. It's a better way to pay for medical expenses. You guys, it took me forever in life to get some kind of like health insurance plan or some kind of like 
strategy with like co-pays and things. I mean, it took me like a long time to figure it out because it, even once I could afford something, the entire idea of it confused me so much. And Crown Health is super, super easy. It's a place where you get simple, flexible, and an affordable way to pay for your health care. Being in the Crown Health community can save you hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands of dollars back in your pocket. It's flexible. You can get a membership or a monthly subscription. Start or stop whenever it's convenient for you. It's really simple. You can just scan your bills and throw them away. We hate paperwork. Crowd Health takes it from there. You just scan it. Press a button to receive virtual care anytime, anywhere. Crowd Health gets rid of the insurance middleman and passes the savings on to its members. Crowd Health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community of health conscious members. But for a limited time, my listeners get their first month free. And after you've been a member, Crowd Health will include a fitness wearable. That's just 30 days to try risk free plus the fitness wearable. Go to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit and enter bald at sign up. That's joincrowdhealth.com slash fit promo code bald. Crowd Health is not health insurance. It's a community powered alternative. Terms and conditions may apply. I also watched Midnight Mass on Netflix. You got to get into that. You will love it. Well, on the plane back from London, Mm -hmm. I was watching um, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I hadn't seen the whole season. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, same thing. It's Squid Game. (laughs) It's just Squid Game, Beverly Hills. But it's fascinating to watch. I know you don't watch it, but there's this character, Erica Jane, who has been basically implicated in her, you know, pending divorced husband's embezzlement. Years and years of fraud and embezzlement and stealing yeah and so the fact that any other celebrity in that type of scandal would sort of recede from society until it's resolved no she puts Only herself in america plants herself firmly will someone in the double spotlight. down put on that fake hair mm-hmm. and like yeah go like have do this show yeah while being like under a microscope i mean She's probably going to be fighting for, what, 10 cents to hopefully live on after this. And she has a whole season of her going on girls trips and wearing designer. And it's it's so wild. I would go full latchkey boxcar child like burlap Dobby the elf right away. Yeah. Right away. I would show up the short, jagged brown haircut. (laughs) Yeah. Paint paint gray (laughs) over my white veneers. Yeah. Just uh, uh, lay it on heavy. (laughs) Yeah. You got to watch Midnight Mass, though. So good. I'll, I'll watch Midnight Mass. So good. I mean, I have a lot going on. <laughs> International travel is usually where I get the most television watching done. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, anyways, there wasn't a raccoon in my bathroom. It was just a, sh- a shelf that fell. <laughs> <laughs> Equally dangerous. Equally dangerous. And I walked into the bathroom, but I, th- I still thought a raccoon was in there because I shaved my head and then got too tired. So I didn't clean it up. It's so gross. It's so gross. It's still in there. And then, um, and then my, my electric toothbrush is now in the pile of hair. I got those little scent things with the sticks. They're all everywhere. When you die in that apartment, which is like, I already, I can feel it. You're going to, you're no, going to die in that apartment. I'm moving. Mm, I just got the find keys. A way to die in that apartment. <laughs> I just got the keys. It's gorgeous. You know how like a cat will like <laughs> climb into a closet to die. You're going to come back to the apartment in a couple years when it's time to die. And- yeah. Climb in bed with whoever lives there now. <laughs> no, I'm perish. gonna go. I'm gonna go perch up on the shelf in the bathroom, make a break, and then die on the floor. I'm gonna mung dive you on my OnlyFans. <laughs> Top dollar. I'm gonna weekend. You if gotta you die, wait though, because it says so. It really gets juicy. <laughs> yes. If you die, can I do some kind of like weekend at Bernie's, like puppetry kind of number? I'm. I'm. That's gonna be in the will. Nobody gets a cent unless I get Bernie on stage. <laughs> Get Bernied. I get mung drip, mung dive it and Bernied. Yeah. I need to be, I need to do a number. And so it gets really juicy. And Can then I ask you get you a question. A, what? Who is hunky Dory? <laughs> Who is hunky Dory? <laughs> Please never let me get so much money that I don't know about Who, phrases like hunky Dory. Hunky. Who is hunky Dory? Who would play her? <laughs> Who is and she, the way she asks it, Kathy Hilton? Kathy such, Hilton, such earnest. Yeah, she's like, who is, oh, who is that? Dory? Yeah, who is that? It's so funny. I've seen that oh, clip. Oh God, a I have to get times. Botox again. Look at that. Ooh, I'm going to get it on Wednesday. I'm sensing movement. 
Yeah, I'm going to get on Wednesday. I'm getting my lips done again too. Oh, I got my li- wait, 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 wait. Laser beams. I can tell you about laser beams. I got laser hair removal. On what? My back. No, you didn't. I did. I did. They went zap, zap, zap. Laser beams. Does it hurt? Um, it, it hurts a little bit. Electrolysis? No, no. A laser. Laser. Electrolysis, I think, is the needle. Are this you sure you didn't the- go to laser tag and just lay there? <laughs> Naked. <laughs> yeah. uh, you thought it was a laser hair removal clinic and it was a laser it was, tag. It was laid there nude. It was just paintball. <laughs> yeah, and little kids walked by, cried. <laughs> I got it and I can't wait to go back. Oh, yeah. Laser beams. <laughs> I thought of a horrible joke. Do you want to hear it? Okay. It's about kids. <laughs> no, no, no. But okay, no, no. I'll tell you later. I'll okay, tell you okay, later. Okay, okay. I hate kids. I know you do. I was at the airport and there was just this family and the kid was just, you know, there's the places in the airport where you sit and then there's yeah. just like the ceramic or linoleum or tile middle where people walk. Yeah, yeah. There's a kid just sprawled out, Ugh. Just sprawled out laying. Ugh. And the Ugh. family was just, just letting it happen. Ugh. That's like that you know, woman. I wanted to walk by and act like I didn't see the kid and step right on their little grape head. Oh, was that your son? Oh, 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 oh. Why don't oh, you get sorry. a spatula and peel him off the bottom of my size 14 Converse and get the fuck out of here? Oh, oh, oh. Get a sitter or stay home for 18 years. Like, I d- hate the kids. People flying with like a newborn. I'm like, you're right. Your six month old does need to see Germany. Eat shit. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Your kids don't remember it. Save the money I, and give it to them when they can like remember the memory. I think they're probably going because they need to go. <laughs> then leave the new, leave the baby. Leave the baby. Put him in the microwave. Put him in the microwave. Leave one of your breasts at home. <laughs> Put him in the microwave. Yeah, take, do what we do. Take the breasts off. Just leave <laughs> yeah, them at home. Yeah, totally. Put him in the tub with some blankets and the breasts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I just, I want to look everyone in the face and grab them on the shoulder and go. Not everyone feels what you feel for your children. <laughs> to the rest of us, it's just this little bitch with sharp little nails who can't get a job. <laughs> yeah. The on the floor though, get the fuck get the baby off the floor. Get the kid off the floor. Get the baby Laying off the floor. on the floor. No. Get the baby off the floor. You know what I'm a big fan of though? I'm a big fan of uh, like baby in public. Just like pants off running around. And uh-huh. the parents just like whatever. Let yeah, whatever. Live. Yeah, the, the, I was at the Gratitude Cafe downtown. Never again. And uh, the there was a woman um, with a baby who was like probably three, four, a toddler, or whatever. And it was screaming, and then it was writhing on the floor and um, in the in the like there's in the walkway. So like everybody kept trying, almost stepping on the baby or the the kid. And I was just like. Control your fucking kid, bitch. Control your fucking kid. Get the fuck out of here. And she was like so, it was screaming and then just, and then the waiter could, it was almost stepped on. It was like, ugh, I want to kick that baby. Uh, it's horrible. I mean, I, I know that, that when you when you have the child, you, a lot of hormones and stuff kick in and your brain, your brain shifts into a place where you, you like the kid. I understand Or that. postpartum, you want to kill it. But when I see the children, especially traveling with the child, I'm like... Even going to the gas station with a kid is a mess. No. You're trying to be at the airport? Yeah. Airport? It's horrible. horrible. Airport? Oh, my God. Horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> I find myself wishing the plane will go down knowing I'm on the same goddamn flight. That's how much I hate the kid. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? They're, they're, well, it's not even worth it because I'm in first class, so I can't even watch them die. Right. You right. know what I mean? I'm gone. I don't think any baby should be in first class. Put them in the oh, back. Children. Put them in the back. Also, just chill. Not to be okay, boomer. I understand that I'm 70 and you're somewhere, you know, <laughs> prehistoric. But like, toddlers just have iPads, personal iPads. Mm. What? No. Remember being shocked when like a 13 year old had a cell phone? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Give him some wooden blocks. Wooden now, blocks. Now, like, now, like, you go to one of those, like, um, what is it called? A baby shower. Yeah. You give the kid one of the. You give the it's kid. It's like the, the sharper kid gets a Peloton. Image. The kid yeah. comes out with a Peloton. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Nose hair trimmer. <laughs> oh, Mary, I had a uh, one nose hair growing out of the nose the other day, hair sticking out, and I didn't have a trimmer, and I'm scared to stick scissors up my nose, mm-hmm. so I plucked it. I don't think I've ever plucked a nose hair. Oh, 
was it connected I think to part the of my inside? brain came out yeah was it connected I think part to of my the brain in- came out. oh it's so yes, painful the interior instant tears instant yep. sneezing yep yeah pain that just radiated yeah. across the face yeah it's so weird sometimes you'll i'll rip them out with my fingers because it's you know desperate i don't yeah and um desperate times desperate times and sometimes you don't feel it sometimes it's the most horrible pain in the world well, you ever notice drag queens because we put so much makeup on? There are drag queens where they get makeup on the hair, and there are dra- a lot of drag queens with nose hairs coming out with foundation on and powder with foundation on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well put a stone on it. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> two giant SS forty stones up the nostril, breathe through the mouth. <laughs> Black uh, jet stones, jet AB, two right there. Uh. Well, I actually, when I was in beauty school, I was absent the week that they did the thing where you put the wax up the nose and, you know. Oh, the, yeah. The sticks. You pull the stick out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I could ever get the 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 gall to pull that stick out of yeah. someone's nose with all their hairs. What does that feel like? It's it's not good. Who would play her? Yeah, <laughs> but it's, but imagine the, imagine the relief of looking at it. Yeah. That was the OG Mung diving. It was a nose wax. <laughs> Have you done the ear wax thing? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, when I go ahead, I had my, my in ears made. You know the ears you wear on stage yep. when you're singing. Yeah. Yep. And I'm, I, I have very overactive ear wax in my yep. ears. Right. Used to have to get them cleaned as a kid all the time. Um, and then I'm in front of my band and they're fitting my ear. And she looks at my ear and she goes, oh, "We have to clean this." And then she's in front of the band cleaning my ears, pulling out. Just, just, just Titanic Chunks. icebergs of wax. Chunks. And then the band is like, wow, that's a lot of wax. I'm like, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Damn. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm prepared to go to this music festival tonight. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of drunk people. Austin City Limits. The, the only thing Austin City Limited tonight is my patience with this fucking yeah. heat. 90 yeah. degree. Could we be doing this in December, please? I can't believe you're doing Do you that. need to see Billie Eilish in 90 degree weather? Do you? Oh, wow. She was oh, you're going to perform night. with Billie Eilish? No, she was here last night. Okay. Who's the headliner tonight? I think it's me, sadly. Oh, my God. No, I don't know who it is. Who's in the biggest I didn't look font? at the schedule. I also never know any of the bands. Like, so. Mm. Creed? We just, well, um, whenever I work with a very famous person like a music person yeah. it's great for me because i'm never starstruck because i don't know a single fucking right. thing they've ever done in their lives right right it's great yeah who would play her <laughs> well should we wrap it up I, let's this wrap is the it last up. one for a while let's wrap it up um there is something i wanted to say i'm eating soylent now i saw that yeah, yeah i'm not doing insure anymore i moved on that's cool. I've, I've, I'm, my weight is good. I'm, I'm climbing the charts on the weight on the scale. And, um, I love that you're like a preemie and that we're just constantly trying to get you to gain weight. <laughs> I was supposed to go to ballet. I said, no, ma'am, you're going to train me with weights. I'm not, I'm not going to no ballet class. They say we're going to pump iron. Why? You would have loved it. It's, uh, it's, it's too early. I don't want to go to ballet. It's like Pilates. I, no, I, I know. I don't want to go to ballet. I want to lift weight, heavy weights. Uh, um, well, guess what, bitch? <clears throat> LA, you lift your own body, which is heavy. <laughs> um, and yeah. All those gymnasts you like do ballet. I know. I don't want to do ballet. I want to lift weights. Stop yelling. Did you know that nobody in drag wears a wig, makeup, or breasts anymore? <laughs> Did you know that everyone's in a flat human hair unit with no makeup on, a with no flat, breasts on? A flat, wet track. A flat, a flat wet, wet track. Wet, one one, one flat, track. Wet track. One track that is wet and no titties. My new album, One Track Mind, and it's just me with one track glued to my head. Crying. Crying. <laughs> Crying. Crying. I can't wait till this thing I worked on comes out because I need you to watch it and realize that no television show you've ever worked on ever had a dime compared to this. Oh my God. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So well, um, okay. Th- there's a strong possibility that I will be continuing mm-hmm. a version of the Bald and the Beautiful with yeah. all guests. So if yeah. you at home have any guests mm-hmm. that you'd like to see on the pod, please tweet me at Trixie Mattel and let me know yeah. who you'd like to, and, and tag the person. Yeah. And thank you so much for listening to a whole year of pods. 52 episodes. People yeah. don't know this. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this. They contract podcasts by 
yearly contract. So mm-hmm. we signed in to do 52. Yeah, we did. And them. I can't believe we've done this 52 times. I know. I can't either. I know. I don't want to complain. No. <laughs> Wait, don't, then don't, then don't. <laughs> but <laughs> podcasting is a lot harder than you think it is. Let's yes. just say that. Even when you don't have, um, when you don't have like, uh, you know, producers and, in, in segments and all that stuff, it's still a lot of work. And, um, but I want to, I want to, um, I want to end, we should end on a, um, a beauty tip. <laughs> oh yeah. This used to be a beauty podcast. <laughs> it used to be a beauty podcast. So why don't we throw it back well, home the first for a episode, second? We, we were trying to figure out a, a sign off. Yeah. <laughs> and there was this one we did, but we what never we, used what it. Did we which say? Is what did we Shine <laughs> on. <laughs> We never used it. Shine on, Shine on. <laughs> What's your beauty tip? Um, my beauty tip is simple. It's sleep, bitch. Hours and hours of high quality, uninterrupted slumber. Mm-hmm. There is nothing in your life, both on the outside and the inside, that cannot be drastically improved by a good night's sleep. If you think you're going to be a fly, hot, sexy, and beautiful and not sleep, let me tell you, you have another thing coming because it's yeah. not going to work out for you, baby. It's not good. There's no amount of foundation that's going to cover up that gray, scaly, craggy, bloodshot, fucking sallow mess if you do not sleep. So get in the bed and now. To piggyback on that, something even easier and more accessible, vampire facials. <laughs> They're only about a thousand dollars each. You do have to schedule them weeks in advance. It does take about four or five days to heal. But they're very easy to find, easy to schedule, accessible to everyone. Yeah, everybody can be yeah, affordable. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can't get a vampire facial done, um How about some water? Some cut yourself open and rub your face in it. I mean that's something. Yeah. Mung diving. <laughs> Do some mung diving. Yeah. Well, okay. Thank you all so much for listening. Shine on. Shine on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>